A sharp chain makes your work easier and safer. The filing kit contains everything you need for chain sharpening. Files, handles and templates. Make sure that you use the correct template when sharpening. For information, please refer to the instruction manual. Ensure that the saw is securely fixed. Check the chain carefully to identify which cutter tooth is worn down the most and always start sharpening this cutter. Lock the chain brake so that the chain cannot move when you are filing. The arrows on the template must point in the chain's direction of travel towards the bar tip. Place it like this over one of the cutters. Make sure that this groove goes all the way down to the chain. Place the file in the middle of the template. It is important to align the file parallel with the sides of the template, otherwise the cutter will not be sharpened properly. Remember to support the file on both rollers of the template, as it is important that both move when you are filing. Take a firm grip on the file, using both hands. Always file forwards, using smooth and even strokes. Count the number of filing strokes you have done. Then continue by filing all of the cutters in the same way. Mark the cutters you started on, so that you know when the whole chain has been completed. Disengage the chain brake and pull the next cutter forward. Skip every other cutter as you go around the chain. Then turn and re-secure the saw to sharpen the remaining cutters. This is how a cutter tooth should look after it has been correctly sharpened. Then check the depth gauges against the template. File these if necessary. Change the file in the handle Then place the template as shown. Place the depth gauge in the hole like this. And check that the underside of the plate engages in the chain at both the rear and front edges. If the gauge protrudes through the template, it must be filed down. Always work forwards using a smooth and even filing stroke. The depth gauge determines the depth of cut. When sawing soft wood, the depth gauge must be filed down more than when sawing hard wood. The marking soft on the template indicates the depth needed when sawing soft varieties of wood and similarly hard is for hardwoods. Examples of softwoods are spruce and pine. Examples of hardwoods are beech and oak. When the cutter tooth depth is less than 4mm, it is time to replace the chain.